three months ago i made a video on should you be hitting or should you be collecting nike golf clubs well i think i found a cheap set of nikes that you should definitely be hitting Guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to a brand new video. Simon down here at Sanford Springs Golf Club. Nike VR2 Pro Cavity Irons. Never hit these, probably never would have until I saw them on eBay. £120, £10 postage, four to pitch and wedge, graphite, Project X 5.5 irons. Even without hitting them ever before, I knew even if they felt like shovels, they would be, especially in this climate where everything's very expensive in terms of second hand clubs at the moment, they would be a great bargain. They look great, how do they feel? Okay, so let me show you them in a bit closer detail. I'll show you some prices also on what these are currently selling for because I do feel the cavity ones fall a bit under the radar now the blades the combo blade sets they're still going for like 350 pounds if not more they're becoming more of a collector's item rather than a club to hit but the pro cavity because tiger didn't use them essentially i think these aren't getting collected i think a lot more people want that sleek tiger vr blade in their collection opposed to the pro cavity beginner set but with a project x 5.5 which let's be honest project x been around since the test of time you're getting a quality graphite iron this is good for your very beginner we're talking let's say under 18 year olds or you just started the game 30s 40s 50s and you just want something forgiving high launching you can't really go wrong now i have to say it does look a bit cheap and tacky with the plastic in the back, but they're not wearing away, which is what happens to a lot of them. Like you look at a lot of tailor-made irons um, or, or other brands, this plastic infill normally wears away, whereas actually these have kept together in really good condition. Um, I've hit these on the range last night. I'm gonna obviously give them a test now and give them a hit, but they do feel good. Now, I'm not saying these are the best beginner clubs ever, but because no one really looks up for them, or actually goes and tries and buys these you're getting them for a decent price any pin club that let's be honest i mean pin clubs aren't the best aesthetics either they're going for twice what these are and you're not getting a graphite shaft let's hit them four iron down the middle there and that's exactly what i expect from a graphite shafted big cavity back headed four iron I hit that out the toe, but I felt nothing up the shaft, so it's given me no feedback, which is pretty much what you want as a beginner, and it's given me the forgiveness, I, it hasn't gone nowhere. I've hit that pretty much into A1, giving myself 130 left into the flag. This video isn't necessarily about the Nike irons, and I will talk about how they feel and sound, but it's about you guys going and finding your own Nike Pro 2 cavity irons, because after I published this video, there's going to be four or five of you that will go and look for them and then naturally you'll snap up the good ones and then the price then goes up. But how do you find your own set? This is a perfect example of a beginner set. Graphite, so it's light, it's going to help your club at speed. It's going to sort out the um, uh, verberations, shock going up your hands when you hit off centre shots as well as the forgiveness because the head is larger. Every manufacturer since the test of time has done a blade, an in-between blade, and then a cavity back. And if you're starting this game, then that is what you're looking for. If you have a fast club head speed, i.e. you hit your seven iron past 150 already, just starting this game, then you need a steel shaft. If you don't, and you only hit your seven iron 130, well then I recommend a graphite shaft. It's not to say that you can't change those in the future, but if you see a four to pitching wedge, in steel good condition or graphite for under 150 pounds and it's a cavity back then it's probably for you my second biggest tip is when you're trying to find a niche club like this that not many people are looking for therefore the price is quite reasonable is do you like the look of them 
because if you like the look of them they catch your eye and you go you know what I quite fancy those in my bag but what happens if I don't get on with them what happens if I can't play with them what happens if they're not right for me if you're looking in the price bracket of 150 pounds for a full set of irons and you've just started the game trust me you liking the look of them is probably more important than anything else now I'm not saying go and get x diff 6.5 blades if you've just started however if you've got something in the realm of a cavity back or even a muscle back and it's a shaft that you think is somewhere around your kind of level so maybe you're regular but actually they're stiff don't worry you'll be able to play with them you'll get on with them your technique is going to come on leaps and bounds to help improve your game rather than the clubs all i care about is that you like the look of them and more importantly you're confident with them when you stand above them now I'm going to say these clubs feel amazing because the 4 and 5 and pitching wedge that I've hit so far out in the middle, well it feels great but that's going to be every golf club in the world. I don't think I've ever, and please put a comment down below, if there's a club that you flushed dead straight at the target, finished on the target, done exactly what you wanted it to and didn't feel great. I don't think there's been a club ever. Okay, get rid of package sets and junior clubs, but every name brand, we're talking top 20 companies in the world. If you've hit a blade, a cavity back, whatever it might be, out the middle, and it's done exactly what you wanted it to do, i.e. a soft little draw or a soft little fade onto your target, well, it's always gonna feel good. Now, to go back onto these Nike irons, because if you find a set of Nike irons in good condition, I can't see you losing your money. Irons in themselves have reached the limit of anything that an iron can potentially reach unless shafts become magical in the future. There's so many rules and regulations and to be honest when it comes down to distance you don't need every iron in the bag to go 300 yards because the idea is you have one that goes 100 and 120 and 140 and so on. But if you find a nice set of Nike irons that you like the look of and you feel like you're getting a good deal you probably are, because I can't see them getting any cheaper anytime soon. That was very much an anti-left swing down here uh, on the 18th at Sanford. Couldn't have blocked that more if I tried. Um, one thing else I would mention is grip condition. Now, a decent set of grips is basically going to be the difference between 80 quid worth of value or 80 quid worth of value lost in your new sets. Now, these grips on the Nike irons, I don't think Nike ever brought out a decent grip. Quote me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure every Nike grip that's ever come out it's horrendous, it's just made of this cheap plastic um, that just wears away after 20 odd rounds. Um, uh, so all I would say is when you go and buy your set of irons, 100, 150, 200, 250 pounds, just ask the person what grip condition is like um, because it is a difference between, well, could be 50 pounds to 150 depending on what grips that you actually want to put on it. Um, uh, there's nothing better than getting second hand set of clubs and brand new set of grips obviously on them because the value of them is so much m worth more and people don't really think about it um, like that. Um, uh, it's something that I need to get better at. Um, uh, I need to make sure all my listings, especially going forward, um, uh, now it's starting to somewhat pick up in terms of the amount of clubs I'm selling. I need to make sure all the details are out and if they're not there, then I always have the option or can answer those for the person that's looking to buy them. Uh, if I want to compete with the bigger companies that obviously do this professionally. Um, but if you ask the seller uh, what the grip conditions are and they go, the grip's in really good condition, well then you have your yeah, word for it. Because if you get them and they're not, then you can return them. Even if it says no returns, you'll be like, well the grip's supposed to be good condition. They're not, I want my money back. And there's a nice little chip in to finish off this video. Let me know what you think of these uh, Nike V2 Pro cavity irons. As I say, hopefully that gives you a bit more of an idea on how to search for your own kind of niche brand that's not caught up in the mad hysteria of buying loads of golf clubs at the moment. Uh, and if you ever have any questions, then by all means, message me on Facebook or Instagram and just say, Simon, do you think these be all right? I play off 18. Simon, do you think these be all right? I've literally just started the game and I'll try and answer as quick as I can. Uh, maybe put a deadline, auction ends in two minutes let me know quick um, but like this video if you liked it subscribe if you're new see you guys there